28, the Auburn Tigers battle the Tulane Greenway. We're really excited to bring you this matchup. Welcome, everyone. We're here at Fogelman Arena. I'm Vern Lundquist, here with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wilson. What do you think, Bill? I'll really be watching the matchup at the four spot. Frost is one of the strongest power forwards in the country. I love his offensive awareness. He knows how to manipulate defenders and really gets in their heads. Number 32 is also a capable power forward. He's got impressive ball handling ability for a big fella. He's just as comfortable facing up as posting up. Both of them are great competitors. It should be a compelling game to watch. Auburn controls the opening tip, and the season is underway. Number three. Number 55. Terrific move. Number 32. Corrals the miss inside. A little too aggressive right there. I like that he's not afraid to be physical, but that was too much. Down the first one. He gets the second to fall as well. McGee inbounds the ball. Forbes catches it outright. Feeds, right wing. Number 32. From about 19 feet. Sunk by number 23. They take a two-point lead. Forbes hands it off. Top of the key. McGee lets it go. Knocks it down from three-point lane. They're in front, five to four. Number 23. Dishes to the right, and the key goes up. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He knew right where to be. James has it, high post. Pass, top of the key. McGee, from deep, on the money. And they now go up by four. Jasper passes it up court. Gets it inside, stolen away. Under 13 minutes left in the half. Ford takes it up. He gets hammered. And he'll head to the strike. Just too much contact there, Vern. You're not going to get away with it if you affect the shot that much. And he makes the first. Number 14 to make his first stand off the bench. Off on the second. Number 23 passes it to the high post. The crossover, right wing, to stop the run. Collected inside by James. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson. 
who has some info for us. Vern, earlier today I talked with Coach Hunter. He told me he's aware of the offensive reputation this opponent has, but said as creative as they are with the ball, I think we can be just as inventive defensively, and we'll have a few surprises in store for them today. Vern? Thank you, Tracy. And he makes the first. He gets them both. Number 14 inbounds the ball. Passes back to the top of the key. Number 55 swishes it through. He's got two. Right around 12 minutes left in the half. McGee gets it right wing. Last shot missed from three-point range. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked. It was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Passes down low. Ford gets the reach-in call, and that's his first foul. Oh, you can't come across the body like that. That is a textbook reach. Number 55 inbounds the ball. Number 14. Tries the spin move. The tough shot. Gets it to fall. And they're now behind by three. To the elbow. Misses the three. They still have a three-point lead. Number 23. Dumps it off. Number 55 has it. Left side. That last shot can from 17. He just rose up and nailed it. That silky smooth release does him well from that distance. Dishes out left. James. McGee launches it and drops. And they're up by four. Auburn will take its first timeout. Number 32 inbounds the ball. Johnson dishes to the right side. Number 32 pulls it in. A superior effort to fight through the foul and put it down. Strong move, Vern. Foul shot is good for a three-point play. Right around 10 minutes left in the half. McGee, number 14, snatches the rebound. The D wasn't too worried about that one. Gave him room to get it off. Mainly because they prefer the long three over him driving it in. That last shot, good, by number 14. McGee inbounds the ball, and it's a one-point game. Cross uses the crossover. Grab by number 14. Hands it off. Skips it to the right from about 19 feet. The offensive rebound by number 32. James tosses it up court. They're getting set to inbound the ball.
across. Has it. Out left. Passes back. Down low. Goes up. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. Knocks down the first one. Williams makes his first appearance. And he splits the free throws. Jasper from long range, sinks it. He's one for two from downtown. It's a five point game. Catches it, top of the key. Ford puts up the tray. Johnson grabs the rebound. How about the hustle of the little guys? Pulling it away for the big fellas. Johnson, lead pass to the paint. Knocks down the first one. The green wave will bring out some reserves. Gets the second to fall as well. McGee inbounds the ball. The Green Wave were the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. They were just out of sync on that one. The pass went one way, and he went the other. Shoots it. Can't convert, but he'll go to the line for two. Get the first to make his first stand off the bench. He misses them both. Right around eight minutes left in the half. Cook puts it up. Number two yanks it down inside. Number 32, off target on the last layup, and it's a seven-point game. He must have thought someone was rotating over to block that. You can't lose concentration even for a second. McGee has it, left wing, bounce pass, top of the key. Cook. Jasper rips it down. Tulane is not doing a very good job on the boards today. And Tracy has a report from their bench. Coach Hunter just told his assistants if we have to defend with five guys in the paint, then let's do it. But I'm getting very tired of seeing us getting killed on the boards. That sent them scrambling to the chalkboard, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. He did everything right on that one. Taking it in hard to the 10. Number 32, inbounds the ball. The steal by Tulane. The green wave with some difficulties. Wonderful job of denying the basketball that time. Great pick. Gets it on the elbow. James dumps it down low. Right wing, throws it up. The three was off target by McGee. With nobody around, he still couldn't convert. Sometimes you can be too wide open. Bounces it to the right side. Number 32. Number three with the shot. Gets the three-pointer to go. 
They extend the lead to eight. Just over six minutes left in the half. Dishes it to the left side. Number two catches it down low from downtown. Got into the paint. And the offensive board by number 13. Cook from downtown. Number 55 pulls it in. Cook is having a hard time getting his shot to go, Vern. You just hope it doesn't wreck his confidence. But it's hard to see how it wouldn't. the first the green wave are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs he gets them both Coleman inbounds the ball 10 points separating the teams well it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball Pass outright. Williams. Cambridge skips it to the right block. We'll head to the bench. He gets the second to fall as well. Coleman inbounds the ball. Right side. Passes it back to the top of the key. Misfired on that last three by Cook. Tulane is having big problems from beyond the arc. And I think Tracy has something for us on that. Tracy? Coach Hunter wants to see his players move more effectively without the ball so they can get better looks at the basket. He told his guys, if you get to the open spot on the floor, I know you can hit that shot. Vern? All right, Tracy. The D wasn't too worried about that one. Gave him room to get it off. Mainly because they prefer the long three over him driving it in. Cambridge grabs the rock. That's another rebound for a team that's doing a great job on the boards. They've got a big edge there today. That last layup was missed by Williams. Spencer. Beats it to the high post. Stolen by Cambridge. Anticipates the pass. Leads him in. Hook catches it on the perimeter. Number 13. Gets it. Baseline. Snatched by number three. That's another rebound for a team that's doing a great job on the boards. They've got a big edge there today. Cambridge passes it inside. Number 55 brings the fadeaway. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. McGee inbounds the ball. The steal by Auburn tosses it up. Good tight defense there. It was missed by number three. But they're still out in front by 14. Left wing, Spencer takes the shot. Good from downtown. But they're still behind by 11. Swings it to the wing, number 23. Bold pass from the right block. 
He got fouled and still almost made it. He'll go to the line for two shots. He misses the first. Off on the second. The Green Wave can trim the lead to single digits. Coleman dumps it off. Spencer catches it. Left wing. That last trade, no good. They rule this one goaltending. Counts the shot. Number three inbounds the ball. Feeds, right wing, from deep. The shot no good by Cambridge. They're still up by nine. Spencer, with the shot, can't get the jumper to fall. I bet he wants another try at that shot. There wasn't anyone within a mile of him. Nice little crossover. Gets it, outright. Number 55, passes it back to the wing. the first. Number two didn't sit for long and he's coming back into the ball game. And he'll come away one of two. Set back. Number 55 backs in. It falls short. But they're still out in front by 10. Let's it go. Buried from beyond the arc by McGee. They've got it within seven. Number 55. Shoots off the mark thanks to the tight D. They still have a seven-point lead. Passes to the left wing. Number two keeps it alive on the offensive end. Spencer for three. Coleman pulled down that offensive board like it was no problem. What a battler. The Tigers will make some substitutions. Substitution on the court. Coleman inbounds the ball. Bounce pass, left wing, from 20 feet out. It was drained by Spencer. He's got five. Jasper. Tulane has had serious problems with their interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their bench. Coach Hunter just told the players on his bench, we have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact. Sounds like he'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. Thanks, Tracy. The shot clock's winding down. McGee releases. Can't get the three-pointer to fall. Williams went after that rebound hard. Great work. That last basket was nailed by Jasper. McGee inbounds the ball. That takes us to halftime with the score 36 to 27. How about the happenings in the first half, Bill? I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Maybe you can do play-by-play -play and color. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? 
Number 32 has been an animal on the offensive glass. Look how hard he gets after it. He's created a ton of extra possessions for them. That's like getting free points for him. He's been the MVP so far. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Coleman inbounds it to start the second half. Number two. Skip pass out left. Coleman. Puts it up. The trifecta by Coleman. He's one for two for the game. Skips it down low. He draws the foul and he'll get a trip to the line. Can't sink the first. He sinks the second. Coleman inbounds the ball. Number two. McGee hands it off. Leads him with the pass. The last layup is dropped in by Coleman. What a nice soft touch. Smooth as silk fur. Passes it to the right. Number 32. Shoots it. Oh, gets the board inside. James spins. Raises up. Brings it for three. He's shooting 50% from three-point range. Oh my goodness, Mark. Listen to this crowd. This place is going crazy. Fish, left block. But it's recovered by Auburn. 14 feet up. Snatched by McGee. How did he miss that one? It happens. He's just got to shake it off and reload. McGee gets it to go. He's shooting 58% for the game. Number three. Dishes it to the baseline. Backs him down. Top of the key. Beats it to the left. Number three. To end the run. Got it. They lead 40 to 38. Takes it up. Drain down to two. And it's all knotted up. About 12 and a half minutes left in the second half. Number three. Number 55. Hits it. 12 points, and he's his team's leading scorer. Bounces it to the top of the key. Lead pass to the paint. Oh, goes up. He doesn't need to swat at the shot so wildly, Vern, but if it works, then I guess you can't criticize him. Number three. Puts it up. No luck on the three-pointer by number 23. But they're still up by two. McGee passes it to the top of the key. Coleman fires from the wing. Hope gets good position and corrals the miss. The last bucket down low was dropped in. 
No way he was coming up empty when he got the ball that close to the rim. Number three. Backs down. McGee has it. And that's his fourth rebound thus far. Flipped it up and out. His team really needs him to hit that. Passes to the left. Number 32 inbounds the ball, and it's a two-point game. Passes, baseline. Number three, connects. And we're now all tied up 44. Coleman dumps it off, beats it to the wing. Perfect shot by McGee. The Tigers will bring in some players from off the bench. Under 10 minutes left in the second half. Jasper. Jasper has it, right wing. Last shot was buried for three. Even against an average score, the defense has to be more aware. Absolutely, Vern. Coleman inbounds the ball. James. McGee passes to the top of the key. Left wing. Number 55 pulls it in. The Tigers can get back in the lead with a basket here. Just undisciplined. No reason to lean back on the wide open jumper. Last ray off the mark by Jasper. Number two, number 55, gets the rebound. The Tigers still hold a narrow lead. Picked off by McGee. Oh, not a good entry pass, Fern. You just can't force it in there. McGee. Coleman passes it to the left wing. Right wing. Coleman, number 23, grabs the rebound inside. Under eight minutes left in the second half. Look at this little guy, getting it done down low. You love to see him in there. Lobs it to the inside. The steal. What a nice steal on the kick out. You could see him read it all the way. He can't get the first. Good on number two. Number 14 inbounds the ball. And Williams brings it up the floor. Dumps it inside. Takes it up. The fadeaway was nailed by Williams. And they're now out in front by three. Number two. 
gets it. Top of the key. Johnson gets called for the reach, and that's his first foul of the game. Ford is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. McGee hands it off. James, lead pass to the middle. Nice move in the paint on that last shot by McGee. You have to body up in the paint if you're the defense. Easy, too. Intercepted. I'd love to see that. He's working around and counts. Such a deep run. Can't sink the first. Three throws good, and we're all knotted up. Williams inbounds the ball. About six and a half minutes left in the second half. Baseline. Yanked down inside by McGee. He grabbed that rebound with his elbows high, using a little intimidation. Dishes to the right block. Jasper shoots the three. Number two snatches it down inside. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Dumps it to the middle. And it's gathered up by Jasper. Picked him clean. Well, the game just slows down for him to the point he sees things that others don't. Dicey pass. Williams gets the second chance basket to go. And they lead by two. Stolen by Johnson. Cambridge throws it up. Hits the prey. He's one for three from deep. The green wave, all timeout. Both teams are making substitutions. Number 13 inbounds the ball. Off the inbound. The shot was knocked down by Cook. And they now trail by three. Just over five minutes left in the second half. Passes, low block, and it's scooped up by Cook. These people aren't loving it. You think it's getting loud in here, or what? Off target on the last shot by James. Leads him with the pass. Cambridge. Number 23 skips it to the wing. Number 23. It's picked off by four. That's his second steal of the contest. Hook fires the three. Number 23 corrals the miss. Auburn is shooting itself in the foot with all the turnovers. Tracy has something for us. The head coach is not sugarcoating the issue. He told his assistants our fundamentals are abysmal. The men added the only players I want on the floor right now are the ones that can take care of the ball. Thanks, Tracy. some new players on the floor and I think that's a wise move. The guys he's going with really play well together. He gets them both. Both teams are making substitutions. Forbes inbounds the ball. 
the Green Wave use their second to last timeout. Bounces it to the inside. Forbes has it. Right wing. Dishes. Right wing. James. With the crossover. Gets it. Right wing. Forbes reels it in. He did a real good job of staying that close on the shooter. Just getting a hand up will bother most players enough to make the miss. Top of the key. Dishes it to the right side. Here comes the double team. The steal! The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Oh. Passes it to the top of the key. That last three ball is going by four. They have been on fire from behind the arc. A fantastic ability to find the open shooter this half. Right around three minutes left in the second half. The Tigers will take a timeout. They're up by two. 2.58 left in the game. Number 32 inbounds the ball. Number 55 backs in. There's a whistle! some contact as he tried to make the shot. Yep, that's an open and shut case. He got hit. Knocks it down. He gets them both. Forbes inbounds the ball. Lead pass to the paint. 2.42 left in the game. Not a good decision, Vern. You can't just go ahead and force it inside like that. Number 23. Takes it up. Powered down by number 32. They bring their lead to seven. James beats it to the right. Oh, net on the shot by Cross. But they're still down by far. Number 23 brings it up court. Right side. Forbes inbounds the ball. Skips it to the right side. James. No good from beyond the arc. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. Dishes it to the right. Crosses it over. Jasper from deep. Good. They're ahead. 68 to 58. James. Unloads. Answers right back with his own three. They've got it within seven. The Tigers look like they have this one wrapped up. James 
this whistle for reaching in. And that's his third foul. Oh, oh man, Cole. Number 32 inbounds the ball. McGee has picked up his first foul of the game. I can appreciate their willingness to keep battling Vern, but I think it's too late to save the game. Fouling isn't going to do them any good anymore. McGee gets whistled for a foul and on the situation in effect. So they'll head to the line for a one and one. I think it's a little too late for this, Vern. They're just prolonging the agony by fouling because this game's out of reach. Gets the first, and that stretches their lead to eight. Can't connect on number two. I don't think they can come back. There's too far to climb in too short a time. From the baseline, reeled in by number 32, and that's his ninth rebound thus far. Good foul there. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Sinks the first one, and that will give them a nine-point lead. He gets the second to fall as well. Forbes inbounds the ball. McGee fires off target from downtown. Their rebounding has been terrific, Vern, and that's the main reason they're leading in this game. That last three corner was missed by number three. For three, it was nailed by James. And that's all she wrote. Auburn defeats the Greenway 71 to 64. Now we'll bring you our player of the game. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Thanks Vern, welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel and we're set to bring you the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Getting into an offensive rhythm is a huge advantage for a team and that played a factor in this game. The Auburn Tiger jumped off to a big run after knocking down this shot to take control of the game. With the energy and tempo from the run, they were able to parlay it into a victory. Okay, thanks Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. Glad you were here with us for College Hoops 2K8.